obviously, as, as anybody who who watched uh, the Cardinals play this past week, uh, realized the uh, the task at hand. Um, we're, we're playing against, if they're not the best team out there, they're, they're certainly one of them in all three phases. Um, I think they've led the league in offense a couple of times. Their defense is, you know, right right there uh, at the top. So we, we know what the, what we're facing, and and uh, I'll, I'll be honest, with you, I mean it's an impressive group. There's no doubt. Bruce Arians does a great job. Uh, I think uh, you know really stepping back, they, they they knew what we were. They knew we were in coverage, and, and they uh, they kind of spit. You know, they, they kind of picked the one on one. And and uh, we weren't up. Uh, we we were up to the challenge on some cases, and then other times uh, their guy made a play. So I think that's the biggest thing. Right. Well, I think the spin in the offense is going to be uh, immediate. You know, some things that, that we'll do uh, from a tactical uh, standpoint. I think we'll see uh, immediately changing the you know like verbiage and and playbook and all that stuff. No, we'll pull from the same. You know, we'll pull from the same place. It may be an occasional play here and there, but it's still going to be. Uh, you know, we're we're definitely keeping the verbiage and everything else that's already in place. Uh, well, we're we're definitely going to try some things. You know, we're going to you know put some things out there. Uh, you know, sitting in the offensive meeting already. There's you know, uh, you know, we're talking about certain situations that'll be played differently, uh, challenges to our players. Um, so we've already, you know, started looking at that, and I think uh, we will be putting some of that in into play uh, today's practice. Believe me, I'm so. very aware of you know some of those reports out there, and and you know what I there's there's a couple things I think needs to be that we have to all understand. Number one, I made the decision on letting Greg Roman go. I think that's that's it, final. That that's it. I, I made the decision. Um, you know, the, in regard to the reports about how uh, players were seeing ownership, but this is a that, that happens all the time. You know, we're I, I feel fortunate that our owners. I mean, they they talk to our players, they talk to you know everybody. I, I, I can tell you this: I'm in full support of our owners, and at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter, does it? I mean, they they own the football team; they don't have to get permission to talk to anybody, and. Uh, and myself included, but I have no problem with it whatsoever. Uh, in fact, it's I think it's a real positive thing for us. Um, well, no, I always I want to build a bullet. There's no question about it. Offense, defense, special teams. Without without a doubt, that's that's what we want to be. We want to dictate, you know, to uh, to who we're playing, how we're going to play. So that that has never changed. Um, the ground and pound, I know, was a thing that, that followed me. I want to be able to run the football. Don't get me wrong. I want to be able to run the football, and we need to be able to run the football. Um, and there's a, a saying now, you, you, you know, you, uh, you pass the score and you run the win. So that's always going to be, uh, you know, who I am, the philosophy that we want to have. We want to be able to run the football. We expect to be able to run the football. Um, but I also think we need to expand our – what we're doing in the passing game, not with a zillion plays or whatever, but getting good at at, uh, at certain aspects and taking advantage of the players we have, um, you know, especially on the outside. I, I do believe that. I, I, I absolutely believe that. Why do you think there's so many conflicting reports on things that come up? Well, because not everybody has has a you know is is right there in the locker room. Is in. You know, seeing the things that I see. So I, I, I mean, I understand it. You know, especially when you, uh, you know, when there there has been a move like I made. But it's um, it's something I feel very very uh, confident. In. I, I believe this organization is all. In. You know, we. I know one thing. We're all in the fact that we're disappointed that we're going to. I know that for a fact. I also know for a fact that we all. Expect better things in front of us. No, but people can say whatever they want. This is a beautiful country. You can say exactly what you want. Do I believe some of the reports that are out there? No, there's a lot of them that I have, you know, that I, I, I know are, or, you know, I'm not going to throw the letters out there, but I know that some are ridiculous, you know, but 
that's okay, and, and I understand it comes with it. It comes to the territory. When you're 0-1-2, a lot of it comes with that. You know, because he really hasn't won a game for you like a lot of quarterbacks could win games. Well, I, I would disagree you know, with that. I think last year he won some games for us, uh, really on his own back, you know, uh, and carried our team. But we all need to pull our weight. You know, it's not just on Tyrod, it's, it's on all of us. And, and uh, we all, you know, we clearly have to step up this week. We have to be at our very, very best, and we'll see if that's good enough. You know, um, you know this kid, you know, you know, I say kid, Carson Palmer's been around a long time, but man, when he's playing like this, you just hope he has an off day against us. Sit there. Well, some of them you just totally dismiss. You know what I mean? I think my brother's done as good a job as anybody in this league. So I think that's, you know, but I get it. I mean, you know, that's, that's always going to be out there. Um, but hey, you know, it comes with the territory. And now it's, it's time to move on. I'm focused on Arizona. I better be.